Hi, my name is Jack. If you're new to this channel, this channel is about personal finance, about adulting, about being in your 20s, and everything that revolves in my lifestyle. This is not the usual setup of my videos. Ko. Uh, nasa probinsya ko lang ako. I'm in my hometown sa Mahay, Laguna. Kasi I have to look after my lolo muna for two days. So, ito muna yung setup ko for the meantime. Uh, and later, uh, dadaling ko kayo. Sama ko kayo uh, dun sa friend ko who just recently bought a car. Pero since nandito na tayo sa hometown ko, I'll just show you around muna. So, let's see. church at uh, this church behind me it's St. Gregory Church and sobrang uh, importante siya sa akin kasi dito kinasal yung lolo ko yung parents ko and dito din ako bininyagan. This will be a recurring place dito sa vlogs ko kasi ito yung hometown ko and every may occasion sa movie talaga kami dito so I guess with that being said balik na tayo sa Las Piñas My dentist, time to meet my friends. Hello. Somebody. Hello. 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 Thank you, Ate. Wish me luck. Bye-bye. Isa din na makikita sa sasakyan nyo. Anong feeling, men? May sasakyan ka na? Masaya. Parang hindi ka masaya yung sagot mo, ha? Magastos. Masaya. That was one of my oldest friends. His name is Tantan. And magkakilala na kami since grade 3. And recently nga lang, bumili siya ng kotse with his girlfriend. Kaya naisipan kong gumawa ng video uh, regarding doon. So, yun yung series ko na Adulting in the Philippines. Pero yung topic ko this time is buying your first car. So, dun sa video na yun, nag-usap kami ng tips and recommendations kung paano ka bibili ng first car mo. So, if interested ka doon, may link sa baba. And later sa end ng video na to, may lalabas din sa screen na link papunta doon. So, yun. Ah, uh, if interested ka, panoorin mo. What I really want to talk about in this video is yung life phase. Since ka yung friend ko just recently bought a new car and sobrang masaya ako, proud, uh, happy, talagang, alam mo yun, all positive vibes para sa friend ko. Pero, uh, tingin ko, may, may theory kasi ako na sa society natin, uh, hindi sila ganun mag -isip. Like, the society thinks na, someone's success is their failure which is mali which is wrong diba hindi perket uh, mas successful sa isang tao failure ka na kasi totoo lang hindi ka naman wala naman nangyari sa iyo eh naging successful lang isang tao so eto yung theory ko kung bakit ganun mag-isip yung mga tao so tingin ko nag-stem siya into our education system and sa corporate world bakit so tingin ko kasi uh, so sa education system natin, there's only one valedictorian, salutatorian, and so on and so on. So, sa corporate world naman, may chairman, may CEO, and so on and so on. And if titignan mo sa ganong setting, the top is only for the few person. So, parang, di ba, uh, hanggat hindi nawawala yung isang tao na yon, walang papalit doon. So, yon tingin ko doon nag-stem yung, ano natin, yung mindset na nag-succeed yung isa parang failure mo kasi hindi mo na ma-feel yun. Pero, life in generally, hindi naman talaga ganon. Kasi, hindi siya bounded by ganong system eh. Parang lahat could be successful. In life ha, parang, in life in general. 
uh, lahat tayo pwede maging successful, hindi perket uh, nag-succeed siya, yung chances mo of succeeding, bababa. Hindi ganun. So, yun. Yun yung theory ko, yun yung thesis ko about kung bakit uh, ganun tayo mag-isip. Uh, generally, in society. So, what uh, I really want to parang point out is, baguhin natin yung mindset na ganun. And, yun. Just be happy for others people, other people's success. Kasi, totoo lang, pag nagsasucceed sila, mas madali ka nilang mahatak pataas. And that's top rob mentality. Second topic na gusto kong i-connect doon is ito. Comparison is the thief of happiness. So, hindi sa akin nang galing yan. Narinig ko lang din yan. And tingin ko, madami ako masasabi about dito. So, gusto ko siyang i-insert dito. Kasi, feeling ko mamimesh ko siya in a good story. So, ito. Looking at my friends, uh, meron na akong friend na may sari ng family. <laughs> meron din akong friend na nag-move out na with his parents. Mic test, mic test, one, two. Meron din naman akong friend na may mga sasakyan na. Okay, we're now in the car. Dito tayo kasama si Rizan. Hello. So, and meron din akong friend na nag-work na abroad. Hi! Bye-bye! Bye-bye! So parang yung dream job nila naabot na nila. Then meron din akong mga friends na nag-aaral pa. And meron din namang naghahanap pa rin ng work. So, yung conclusion ko dun is parang uh, lahat tayo may sariling path and hindi hindi tayo magkakaparehas. Never na mangyayari yon So, parang never or wag mo i-compare yung sarili mo sa iba. Uh, yung pwede mo lang pagkumparahan ng sarili mo is yung past self mo. Like for example, ako, two years ago, I was still uh, in college. Fini-figure out ko pa kung paano makaka-graduate. And eventually, na-figure out ko naman, two years ago yon. Then the past year, yung pinifigure out ko naman is how will I survive na yung passion ko lang yung pinabubuhay ko sa sarili ko. I'm currently at Venice. I'll eat first with my friends and hopefully later, my client shows up. And eventually, after a year, na-figure out ko naman din yon. Now, yung pinifigure out ko with my life today, yung present ko is how will I have a prosperous life nang pinipurso ko yung passion ko. So, kung gano'n mo siya titignan, di ba parang ang saya, uh, ang saya i-reflect yung pinagdaanan mo kung nasan ka na before and nasan ka na ngayon. So, ayun, yun lang. Uh, never compare yourself to the other people. Just always compare yourself sa sarili mo. Kasi yun lang naman yung competition mo. So, ayun lang. That's just it for this video. I would appreciate uh, if mag-subscribe kayo, i-like yung video, or leave a comment kahit anong comment na sana naman uh, maganda and good feedback. Tapos, ayun uh, na. Uh, last na lang, let me promote yung uh, video ko na ginawa namin nung friend ko. It's about yung uh, buying your first car. So, guess, yun lang. Bye!